All right, so we're at this stage now. I put some uh, caulk right here, silicone uh, based white caulk. I sat the speakers on some gasket uh, so that it sits nice. These, you know, screws, wood screws holding the speakers in place. There's, uh, I used this right here. This, this is good stuff. So it's a hundred watt um, glue gun, high adhesion uh, glue. And I went ahead and I put it here uh, to hold the tweeter housing in uh, and sat the tweeter in. I also added it because I, <laughs> I didn't have the connection. I went ahead and heated up this, this wire, it's 16 gauge wire with a, just a lighter and I pushed it in the, to the two pins because it has two pins. These are OE, OEM from a Honda, uh, 20, the 2015 Honda I was working on. Um, I did put a 3.3 uh, non-polarized capacitor in line to the positive on each one. So that'll cross it over about 12K, 60V down. Um, I don't know the specs of these, but that is safe to keep these from, from blowing and not crossing over too much and attenuate some of the some of the tweeter as well some of the, the higher frequencies um so that's that's that was the thought process by using a 3.3 microfarad capacitor in line i went in and um th these are all soldered together here's the board i didn't want to mess with the dc the connections uh, so i went ahead and i used the, this adapter this is all fed in right here this is a uh, this is heat heat sink heat excuse me uh she heat shrink um that is what what it what it does it's going to hold uh, the it'll help hold the pressure inside the box since it is a 100 percent sealed unit and i am going to show you here in a little bit how i what i did to the auxiliary so that none of the air escapes so I just wanted to show what I did to seal this unit right here, the, the auxiliary part of it. So if you look at these boards, they are porous to, for lack of better words, uh, they're, they have a lot of holes. So when you have a sealed unit like this, you're gonna hear some hissing. So you don't want that to happen. I already put the high adhesion, uh, adhesive glue on here and that, that's, that'll stay forever. This, I use the heat since you know i could put it heat um, shrink, shrink heat shrink tubing uh, so it seals it, it seals any of the holes that are you know naturally there they're not going to make a, a closed unit um, on both the auxiliary or the power connection uh, and what i did to further seal it is i put some silicone here and a zip tie bam that is sealed you know because in between here you're gonna you're gonna i'm gonna get some air leaks so what i did for the auxiliary to stop the um stop it from having a um, air leak is i put the connect a connect uh, an auxiliary connection there so that i know i'm not gonna cover any of the bare connection that needs to be exposed you don't want to do that so Put this, put an um, auxiliary cable in, and then you kind of you go around with it with your finger um, and put some silicone, some black silicone is works great. That way you don't see it come through. So that's what I did there. That looks pretty good. I still need to put this top piece on. Now to service this unit is gonna be close to impossible because everything's from inside and it's supposed to be sealed and it's not this cover isn't on a hinge it's gonna have to slide right in so I'm gonna try to uh, figure out if I can put some of the gasket tape right here and I'm just gonna have to put some clear silicone light clear silicone for what it's worth it will work um, I already talked to friends who wanted to handle so I have these handles. Um, it's like uh, it's ten bucks for for this at, at IKEA. It'll work. It'll get the job done. It'll fit. I mean, someone's hand, my size. It should should be good enough. I just need to see where I 
I would need to balance it probably closer to here um, since the speakers sit in the front. Uh, but I need, to, I need to test that out, putting this, uh, this so it weighs it on the back and figure, okay, well, where am I gonna, where am I gonna do that? Where am I gonna position the, the handle? So it, I think it should be good. Um, I think it's ready. It's almost ready. That's where the auxiliary is gonna go. And as long as the handle sits about right here, we will be good. Next up, I'm, I'm gonna seal it. I'm gonna put the handle on top and give it a sound check. Run some pink noise through it. Check it with my uh, RTA, well, kind of an RTA, Spectrum Analyzer uh, via a, the Dayton uh, IEMM6, I believe, microphone connected to the iPad as before. So it works, it's, it's, a, it's good enough uh, gauge just to check, well, what sound is this producing at um, all frequencies? And we'll get to that next. So the speaker gasket is on and I started from here because it's got a little lip. Uh, started from here, went all the way around, right there, I kind of messed up right there, but whatever and uh, round and there it is so now all i have to worry about is one squeezing squeezing it in um, good old peanut um and figuring how to how to seal this since i don't i'm, I'm gonna have to really silicone this piece and then shut it keep it shut there for for quite some time now okay so because i it's not going to be easy to to close this or and and it, this the lid has to slide in i won't be able to use the traditional foam uh acoustic foam that i've used in the past it's good stuff except how am i going to close it i mean i'm sure i can put some around here for you know side waves or whatever um i can do my best but i went ahead and i got some polyfill um now this is not your traditional polyfill. I'll show in a little bit what I did. It works just the same. I have something similar on these speakers here inside and these, these are my focals and over here it, it works just fine. And it is a budget polyfill. So you don't have to go and spend 10 bucks on a couple pounds at, at um, michaels you can get a whole lot more for a whole lot less okay i did a little uh, test fitting of this over here um and it's a very it was a very very tight fit so much so when i would push it through it would pe the peel this off so there's a couple things that i'm gonna try first what i did is on the backing here i went ahead and i put a clear coat of clear of a rust-oleum clear coat uh and, and the idea process is to allow it to lube up. I'm going to try to lube this up a little. I was trying to figure out well, what can I lube it up with, right? Well, this is what I'm gonna attempt. A little bit of this pledge, um, it's for wood. The only thing is that will it degrade the gasket? I, it might degrade the gasket, but for what it's worth, I think I'll be able to to make it work so i went ahead and i added some glue here on the lip around it so that it, it kind of stays it stays in place or at least that's the idea and so what i'll do now is add polyfill and what kind of polyfill am i going to use huh believe it or not bam <laughs> this stuff this cheap pillows these cheap pillows this right here this is a jumbo size i told my wife can you go please give me a pillow they're like three bucks three tops four bucks right she brings me this one says this is the cheapest one she could find but it's okay i just looked at the inside and look at that beautiful stuff right there now you might i might get some some uh cr critics saying yeah that's not polyfill no it it it, it is polyfill except that it is a little looser than than uh, what you would normally use or what you would get um, that is specific for the uh, acoustics um, it, it's it it'll work it will work i just need to make sure that i'm not pushing or put 
too much that I'm pushing the woofer in, but it it's gonna line all of this. It it's gonna line everything. The only thing is uh, I don't want to put any on top of here because of the heat sink. But if you look down here, there's um, it's on an it's on an elevation, so we'll we'll be we'll be good. Uh, I think that's the last thing I'm gonna do. This looks pretty good. It's time for sound check here in a little bit.